It is F1000. And it's lights out. And away we go. Bottas ahead of Hamilton, who got away well. Hamilton scoots past Bottas on the inside. Vettel challenging on the outside. Charles Leclerc goes on the inside of Vettel. Hamilton leads Bottas, leads Leclerc, leads Vettel, leads Verstappen. And round the outside of Pierre Gasly comes Daniel Ricciardo in the Renault. But what a great start for Lewis Hamilton. For the first time this season, he's beaten his teammate off the line. Well, it's a real Noah's Ark grid, wasn't it? Two by two with the teams all the way through the top ten. And uh, they've somehow managed to not connect with each other as they head down into turn six. Great driving. Sergio Perez very late on the brakes gets ahead and Nico Hulkenberg in the Renault and Kvyat's gone into Norris and they're out of the race and Sainz has picked up damage as well. This is what it looked like on board Lando Norris's McLaren. And you've probably just lifted off the sofa in unison with the McLaren doing a little bunny hop there. Two Hasses running side by side and then Danny Kvyat into Sainz into Norris. Ouch. Let Sebastian by, let Sebastian by. But uh, I'm pulling now, I'm pulling away. That message might be a little old, he's letting Sebastian Vettel past. Vettel moves up into third place. Charles Leclerc obeys team orders and Sebastian Vettel is now released to get after Valtteri Bottas and try and reduce the deficit that has grown to about three and a half seconds in the opening ten laps of this race. And we're seeing Hulkenberg come in again. This is not a scheduled pit stop and what looks there, Martin, like another mechanical failure for Nico Hülkenberg. It's Honda Power against Ferrari Power and it's DRS assisted now for Max Verstappen. And the wing wide open at the back. Can he get anywhere close? We've seen them come together last year as Verstappen dived down the inside. He's going for it again. He locks up, gets ahead of Vettel. Vettel tries to find him back again and he gets pushed wide. Max Verstappen into the dead on the inside. Verstappen can't get ahead of Sebastian Vettel. Vettel entitled to take the racing line on the inside. Verstappen running out of space on the outside of the track. It was a lunge, but it was under control, but he couldn't quite, as he put some lock into the steering wheel, the inside tyre unloaded, and there it is, just coming back at him. Brilliant. Good driving from the pair of them. Absolutely brilliant. Kevin Magnussen ahead of Kimi Raikkonen. Raikkonen's going to try around the outside at the hairpin at turn six, then switch back to the inside and get on the gas a little bit more cleanly. Has he got ahead of Kevin Magnussen? Yes, he has. Alex Albon had a big crash in FP3 and is making his way up the field and making up for lost time in the race itself. Has just got past Antonio Giovinazzi. He's got pace, that Toro Rosso. Real shame he couldn't take part in qualifying because it, it was looking like a contender uh, for the top ten. There goes Kimi Raikkonen. I don't know if he's going to the motor show or not, but he's certainly going to get past Roman Grosjean here. Grosjean tries to fight it, will carry on trying to fight it, but can't fight it any longer. Raikkonen is far enough ahead uh, to take ninth place. And this is the, the double stack stop uh, for the Mercedes team. Medium tyres going on for Lewis Hamilton. Just when one went out, the other one's ready to come back in again. It was like a production line. Now there goes Valtteri Bottas then, started on pole in this race. He's been playing second fiddle to his teammate Lewis Hamilton uh, ever since the start, and he's back ahead of Charles Leclerc, so goes back into second place in this race. Danny Kvyat is out of this race, uh, banged into two McLarens at the start. Danny Kvyat's quite miserable Chinese Grand Prix, comes to an end on lap 43. Lando Norris's hellish, I think we can call it, first Chinese Grand Prix ends in retirement. Joins Danny Kvyat and Nico Hülkenberg as retiring from this race. Lewis Hamilton on his way to a sixth Chinese Grand Prix victory. It's pretty much six of the best for Lewis Hamilton. Alain Prost waves the chequered flag. A four-time world champion acknowledges a five-time world champion winning the Chinese Grand Prix. What a start to the season it has been for Mercedes. Get in there, Lewis. Super strong start, super strong pace. So Lewis, that's win number 75. Awesome job, guys. What a fantastic 
result for us today. I'm so proud of everyone. Thank you so much for all the hard continued work. Let's keep pushing, guys. I really appreciate you. Smiles and celebrations, not for Ferrari and Sebastian Vettel, but for another 1-2. Their third 1-2 in three races in 2019. What a hat-trick to start this year off. There's a long way to go, but Mercedes already beating their goals. Victory today, second place as well. They lead the Drivers' and the Constructors' Championship.